On this episode of Andy's Auto Sport TV, we're going to talk about lip kits. Then we're going to install our Wings West polyurethane air dam on the front of our Project Integra. Now you can add aesthetic appeal to your vehicle by adding a lip, fascia, or air dam. They come in a variety of different styles and shapes, and they're made out of either fiberglass, polyurethane, or carbon fiber. And they can make your car or truck appear lower for a sportier look. They also improve the aerodynamics of your car by giving you more downforce and keeping air out from under it. Now, lips, fascias, and air dams are actually going to be listed under the body kit section of andysautosport.com. Now, a body kit is typically replacing your factory bumper covers, whereas a lip, spoiler, and air dam is an add-on unit to the factory bumper cover. If you get a polyurethane or a fiberglass lip kit, it does not come painted, so you're going to need to do some paint and prep work. Now, if you get a uh, carbon fiber lip, they either come as a dry carbon or with a clear coat on them, and they're not meant to be painted. However, if you want to, you can prep those and paint them as well. Now speaking of polyurethane and fiberglass, polyurethane is a lot more durable than the fiberglass counterparts, but it's much more expensive to prep and paint them. Lip kits like this polyurethane version from Wings West and these carbon fiber versions from Cybon and VIS are typically smaller in size and attached to the factory front bumper cover. Then we have lip fascias, which partially cover the factory bumper cover like this version from uh, Wings West. It's also sometimes called an air dam. Now when it comes time to installing these, keep in mind that these do not come with any mounting hardware at all unless it has the heavy-duty 3M stick, uh, double stick tape already attached. Other than that, if you need nuts and bolts, you can pick them up at your local hardware store. Lips, front fascias, and air dams are all going to install to your factory bumper cover. Now, if you're going to use a polyurethane version like these from Wings West, they come with an industrial grade double stick tape, which will adhere to your factory bumper cover. Now, you're going to want to make sure you clean that bumper cover very well so this tape has something to stick to, and it is good enough to hold it. However, you can use additional reinforcement if you'd like. If you're going with a fiberglass or a carbon fiber front lip, uh, they typically mount with screws or bolts. They'll mount inside the fender well and to the top of the lip. Now, they do not come pre-drilled, and the reason that they don't is if your factory bumper cover has been damaged or shifted in any way, you can actually drill those holes where you want them and mount it with your hardware. Now, if your existing bumper cover is damaged and you're trying to install this lip on there, remember that this lip was designed and built on a flawless bumper cover. So what you're going to want to do, honestly, is you're going to want to fix it correctly first. However, if you can kind of shift things back in place, if some of those bolts are a little walled out, you can use a larger flat washer to reinforce that factory damaged bumper cover. Now that you know all about lips, fascias, and air dams, we're going to go ahead and install our Wings West polyurethane air dam on the front of our Project Integra. Now, we previously painted this at Gene Winfield's Rod and Custom in Mojave, California. Let's see how it installs. Now, I've already cleaned the mounting surfaces with a uh, lacquer thinner. Now, you can use whatever you like. You want to get all the greases and dirts off of there uh, so that you have a good mounting surface for the double stick tape that comes on the Wings West lip. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and test fit it and put it on. And just wrap it around like this. That fits on there really nicely. So now what I'm going to do, now that I have it here, I'm going to actually pull it off just a little bit and I'm just going to start at one side and actually pull the double stick tape wrapper off. Once this sticks, it's really hard to get it off. So you get uh, one chance to do this and do it correctly. Otherwise, you have to get some more tape and, and redo it. So uh, just be real careful about making sure it fits first before you pull the backing off the tape. All right, now remember, even though you think of a lip or a front fascia as a small part, it's going to be in a big box. For example, this Cybon uh, front lip came in this box. Now, as you can see, 
Installing the Wings West air dam on the front of our Project Integra dramatically changed the looks. It took about 10 minutes uh, with no tools whatsoever, just taking off the double stick tape and putting it on there. That's after we did the hours of prep work and paint work to get it to this point. Popular brands we carry are Duraflex from Extreme Dimensions, Vision, VIS, Cybon, and of course Wings West. We hope you've learned something today and we'll see you on another episode of Andy's Auto Sport TV.